Is it gonna be on previous gens? Is it gonna be for the PS4? Is it gonna be for uh the Xbox Series S and the Xbox One? No, no, it's not. No, it isn't. It's going. To, it's going to be for the damn PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. It didn't know. They would not release it for upgrade. If you can't upgrade with, then I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Nobody knows what to tell you. Upgrade. Your <laughs> yes, ayo squad, ayo players. If y'all look. Look at the motherfucking screen, y'all. We finally got something out of Rockstar. We finally got. In this, I'm talking about the real Rockstar games. Not, not some phony ass, punk ass wannabe Rockstar who just want followers and clicks and shit for money. You know, we're talking about the real, authentic, original, actual life Rockstar games. And man, 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 I couldn't be any happier, man. I feel like I feel like a little kid again. Keep in mind, GTA 5 came out in 2013. I was 13 years old when that game came out. What the hell did you just say? 24. GTA 6. The announcement just came out. Which means I'll be 25. Damn! Listen, the fact that we get in the GTA 6 trailer in December. Listen, I'm going to just read it for you. I'm going to read it for y'all real quick. Hold on. So first thing first, y'all, before I even get into the stuff I want to talk about, and I, you know, some questions I have for Rockstar and the GTA 6, the game as a whole. Let's read this message from Rockstar Games themselves that came out November 8th of 2023. Next month marks the 25th anniversary of Rockstar Games. Thanks to the incredible support of our players worldwide, we have led the opportunity to create games we are truly passionate about. Without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you. Thank you, Rockstar. We appreciate it. And we are so grateful to all of you for sharing this journey with us. In 1998, Rockstar Games was founded on the idea that video games could be as essential to culture as any other form of entertainment. And we hope that we have created games you have loved in our efforts to be part of that evolution. Well, of course, like, do y'all not know the games y'all created? Wait, Rockstar Games? Y'all literally paved the way for other games. Like, let's be real. Y'all really changed the course of the industry as a whole. So let's, <laughs> come on, let's give Rockstar their flowers despite how people, some people feel or say or whatever the case may be rockstar games definitely made a lot of things possible changed a lot of things for a lot of these other creators to make their games so you know give credit when credit due we are very excited to let you know that in early december we will release the first trailer for the next grand theft auto we look forward to many more years of sharing these experiences ex Too excited, y'all. I got tongue tied. I'm sorry. Hold on. The fact that we are finally getting a trailer next month. I thought, here's how. First of all, let me just finish the, the damn thing real quick before I get too excited. Thank you, Sam Hauser. Okay. I thought that in 2024, you know, that was going to be the year for GTA 6 promotion, marketing like crazy. I thought the whole year was just going to be nothing but promotion, which it still may be. However, some people may speculate that the release of the full game may come out in 2024. Do I think that may happen? It's like, I think it's possible at this point because I've heard other rumors that other games may come out that year as well. Like Max Payne 1 and 2, some people speculate that may come out that year or uh, Wolverine as well. It's just, there's a lot of different rumors coming out. And of course, GTA 6 is one of them. And I don't know. I, I feel like the game may come out in 2025, like early 2025, like somewhere around February or March or something. But I could be wrong, man. I don't know. We're getting a trailer, first trailer, right? So it could be possible we may get GTA 6 at the end of 2024. Fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> Imagine if we got it, bro. That would be the craziest year. If we got Wolverine. Max Payne 1 and 2 and GTA 6. Hmm. I'm going to need y'all to uh, like and subscribe this channel and go to my gaming channel. Link to that will be in the description below. And please get your boy to a thousand subscribers. I need to, I need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all haven't seen my videos, go check them things out, man. Because I'm going to need to do some things, man. Upload more videos or something because she...
a lot of things are starting to happen now, man. When it comes down, when it comes down to this generation of video games. Now that we finish, now that we finished that, I'm gonna get into some notes real quick, some questions that I may have for the official release of GTA 6 when it actually come out. First thing first, do y'all think it's gonna come out with the online? Because if y'all remember, back when GTA 5 came out back in 2013, um, the single player was released first and then the online a little bit later. So I feel like would that be a possibility with GTA 6 since just because me and my dad talked about this recently, he was basically saying like the whole entire thing should come out. We waited 10 years plus for this, you know, this release. So I mean, shit, the least they could do is just give us the full package all at once. So in that way, we ain't got to wait. But I don't know, man, that seems to be a little bit more of like a rocky area, in my opinion. I feel like they may release the single player first, like they did GTA 5. But who knows? I mean, they may just give us the whole entire thing. That would be better. Don't get me wrong. I would like that. Just so in that way, we ain't got to wait. That would be another piece of information I would like to hear from Rockstar in the future, because I feel like that would be kind of just because i feel like that's something the uh fans should know about beforehand just because so not just so that way we don't get our hopes up too much for certain things just because i feel like when it comes down to the release people are going to be getting more ready for the online specifically you know what i'm saying and then some people are going to be getting ready for the single player half and half so i, I and of course i feel like the main one of the main questions is going to be is it going to be on previous gens is it going to be for the ps4 is it gonna be for uh, the Xbox Series S and the Xbox One? No, no, it's not. No, it isn't. It's going, to, it's going to be for the damn PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC. It didn't know. They would not release it for upgrade your shit. If you can't upgrade with your shit, then I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Nobody knows what to tell you. Upgrade your shit. Nobody should be able to sacrifice their new hardware for your old ass, outdated hardware. I, I no, nope. Mm -mm, I refuse. Any of these new com I, I refuse any of these companies release any newer titles for these old ass gen consoles. No, no, no. We need to worry about the future. We need to worry about futuristic gaming like right, like opportunities and capabilities. And another thing I got questions about is I wonder how the physics are gonna be for GTA 6 because we already know when it comes down to each GTA game for the most part, the physics are obviously different each and every single time. Like 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 for example, like uh when it comes down to San Andreas. From San Andreas to GTA 4, that was an enormous leap when it comes down to the gameplay, the physics. Some people say it was too realistic. Some people say it was too sluggish or too slow, too wonky. And I enjoyed it for what it was. Now, it obviously took some time to adapt to in comparison to, you know, uh, GTA San Andreas playing that for so long. And then obviously playing Vice City and GTA 3, which sort of has similar mechanics. It obviously took some time. I ain't gonna lie, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. I thought, hey, look, I think GTA 4 is one of the best GTA games ever made. That's just my opinion. And I'm talking about single player and I'm talking about us uh, multiplayer wise. That's just me. Me and my friends had a good ass time with it, but that's a whole different historic story mode. I said story mode. That's crazy. I play games too much. That's for a whole different history like gaming video. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, GTA 4, just like GTA 5 and just like how GTA 6 is going to be, change the course in gaming i just i just hey hell hell i heard that you'll actually be able to like speak to ai like the actual npcs in the game on like in single player don't know about multiplayer that'd be crazy if you can but in single player that'd be just as crazy because like being able to hold some sort of actual conversation with an npc on gta 6 it's like damn rockstar let me find out y'all going that far when it comes down to like video games and mechanics and gameplay and whatnot, when it comes down to your video games, hell, I even heard they about to be developing Red Dead Redemption 3, which I already know gonna be fucking crazy out the ass because I just recently completed Red Dead 2, just recently, like three months ago. That was some of the most realistic, no, it is the most realistic game I've ever played in my entire life. I watched my dad play that game yesterday because he's currently playing it, right? This man is so engaged, can't take his eyes off the screen. This is how you know this is how you know somebody is just too damn just when somebody is just too damn engaged into the game into the story when like <laughs> when you or somebody that you know are chuckling at the jokes the characters make in the game as if you're actually there you made a good ass story how you make a story that damn good rockstar huh huh i just I, red dead 3 gta 6 but on some real shit though, where Bully 2 at?
you know, is that too much to ask for though? Since we get in GTA 6, it may be, it might be. Red Dead 3, I know we getting that too, but Max Payne 1 and 2 remake, I know we getting that too. I'm sorry, but hey, I'm just a big ass fan of Jimmy Hopkins. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what he doing now. I want to see what he up to. So I just find it so crazy how so many of us that grew up playing GTA 5 when it first came out are now in our early to mid to late 20s. Damn, Rockstar, y'all got to... We can't have this for GTA 7, y'all. We got to we gotta speed it up a little bit. Like, man, we, we trying to be alive when GTA 10 come out, or GTA X, whatever you want to call it. Damn, that's a long ass time. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez Louise, goodness gracious. Mama Mia, what on God's green and blue earth is Rockstar doing, man? I know they trying to, like, innovate and, you know, spread things out when it comes down to the releases and whatnot because I know a lot of money and time and effort and energy blood sweat and tears go into these video games trust me I know trust me we know we all know they know it's listen everybody know but damn at least one game a year one game every other year Rockstar is that it, like come on like come on now I don't think that's too much to ask for is it like I would say like one game every other year one game every three years at least at the max I don't know I don't know I don't know they, they put a lot of time and money and effort into their game, so I understand, but yeah, we, we, we literally, I think GTA 6 is going to be the only game from Rockstar, maybe, no, GTA 6 and Red Dead 3 are going to be like, I guess, I guess Max Payne 1 and 2, I guess Max Payne 1 and 2 we could throw up in there, okay, fine, three games, we're getting three games from Rockstar when it comes down to this whole generation of uh, new current gen consoles that's been out since 2020, and we're going to be getting a PS6 in 2028, interesting, okay, three releases, I, I would hope to get at least two more, five, make it five, maybe surprise us with a bully, too maybe some sort of la noir game call it call it maybe surprises with some sort of la noir game i don't know call it ny noir in new york i don't know do something um yeah maybe shit i don't know y'all that's three games that's, that's not too bad i guess anyway <laughs> anyway y'all uh, i don't know man i'm just thinking about it i'm thinking about the duration of it all like god damn we gonna be old by the time gta 7 come out we gonna be we gonna be senior citizens by the time that, that game come out to be real with y'all so we might as well cherish the years with gta 6 as much as possible go back and play some of the old games if we get tired of gta 6 in the future got them because we damn sure not gonna be looking forward to no 7 at all i'm not even gonna say anytime soon at all we're not gonna be, not gonna be looking forward to that game at all but hey we get GTA 6 though, which is a brand new fresh game and Red Dead 3. And Max Payne 1 and 2 for the people that never and Max Payne 1 and 2 for the people that never played it like myself. But we got some stuff coming out, y'all. Uh we got some stuff to look forward to as gamers, as the gaming community, as the AO squad, the AO players. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all are. Let me know what y'all are looking forward to the most when it comes down to GTA 6 and any other Rockstar games in the future because I want to know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I don't know what channel I'm going to release this on. Probably Ayo Mike because this is more so of a reaction, commentary type video, not a gaming video. So, gameplay video to be specific. But y'all know, know, know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Anyway, y'all, y'all have a good night. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, y'all, y'all have a good night. Blessed night. Good day. Blessed day. Wherever y'all stay. Hey, yo, squad. And play us. We out.